We're going to look at pulmonary function studies. With me is Amber Evans, my nurse practitioner. Amber, what do I do? All right, Dr. Bob, you're going to take a big deep breath in and blow hard and fast as you can. Here I go. All right. Blast hard. Keep going, 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 keep going. Breathe back in. Good job. How'd I do? Awesome. Well, let's take a look here. Well, here are my pulmonary function studies. And guess what? It says they're normal. Pulmonary function studies can tell us if you have asthma. It's really the only way. It's what we call spirometry. So it's very simple. It can give the doctor worlds of information. Now, I want to show you how we use an inhaler. This is an inhaler. The object is to get that down in your lungs. So we have to breathe it in long, slow, deep, and hold it. Shake it up first, then we go. <sighs> so I counted for 10 after I breathed it in long, slow, and deep. If you breathe it in too fast like this, <sighs> like an athlete, well, it becomes turbulent and won't go all the way down to the bottom of the lungs. So you've got to breathe it in long, slow, deep, and hold it. If you have difficulty timing it, we've got what we call a spacer. Now with the spacer, we're going to spray the medicine in here and then breathe it in. So we're going to push and breathe. Watch me. So I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds again. There was a horn there. That meant I was breathing too fast at that little part. Great device. It will help you and your doctor be sure that you use your inhaler properly. It'll get your asthma under control.